Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol Slayer. So I did make a mistake, I did a few things. Um, but let's see where we're at. So I, I need to reroll this. I gotta kill bats. Mm. This is a tricky one. I guess we'll go to... Modern City. That seems like good. Let me turn the silver on. We'll go to Modern City. Modern City. There we go. And then let's go gambling. And then we're going to talk about the plant. So I got a lot of questions in the last video. What is a ninja run? So the only way to get the 500 sphere achievement, which is the basically the last outstanding achievement that I need, is to do what's called a ninja run. The way a ninja run works, hold on, I have to find the achievement. There they are. This is my black hole of achievements right here. I need two claws and a 500 spear. 500 claw comes with a 500 spear, so I mean, we really don't have to count it separately. As you can see, I currently have the 400 claw and the 300 spear. So I should be able to get the 500 claw with the 400 spear, and then we just have to get the last two levels of the spear. So, let's go gamble first, and then I'll kind of explain what we have to do. And what this strategy is. And we're also going to do a few other things in town. But first, we have to gamble. Nothing like thinking you can bet your entire life on red and for it to come up black. House always wins. Yeah, if you go to a real casino, they don't give you free daily rolls. They actually ask, and I said, hey, you know, I'm a member of the Slayer's Lounge. They just laugh me out of the establishment. Could you believe that? And we'll do a spin. Can I finally get the 500 jewels of soul that I need? Five DP is not a... so close. Not a bad reward, honestly. This also cracks me up, the fact that this now shows up down there, because I think when it was showing up up here, it kind of blocked the picture. Oh, and the leaderboard, I do believe, is still broken. Yeah. And the only prize I have left is getting reptile eyes, which is totally fine. I don't think I've been doing a super good job with coming here. I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, let's go talk to you. And we got coin value. That is totally fine. And let's let's go address something. So shoot. All right. Well, first we're gonna do, do that. We'll get that. Get those. Get that. Okay. So the issue that I want to address is two things. One is armor. And so let's see. Yes. So the armor is not really a big upgrade. It's three feathers. whoop de doo It's not expensive. We're going to upgrade this. It's going to give me about 9% more offline CTS, so I guess that's something. But the soul and giant soul increase is, pr I, I was told in the Discord, it's probably like less than 1%. But I was like, you know what? I will take it. And plus, you know, it's extra offline CPS, so there's that. And I think 900 is a fair number. And so you can see the increase here is about about 1% in the total souls and about 20% in the giant souls. So really not an amazing thing. But there's a bigger thing we need to upgrade. It's an upgrade I think I should have done a while ago. And the issue is my helmet. So... I wonder if there's a thing on that. Yeah, we can win this. This will give us a decent enough idea. I do not know how to read this chart.
Oh, that is not the chart I want to... Oh, it doesn't show me. Damn. Okay, what are my shoes at? My shoes are at... Not... Okay. So shoes are a higher one, and I can get to 950 on shoes. And I don't like being my shoes at 950, and shoes come after... Let's verify that. So I could take it to 950... Um, and it basically line up with the boots. I don't know that I would want to do that. I'm thinking probably 900, but it needs to be at least 900. And I'll show you why. This is offline souls. This is huge. Why is this so low? Well, I know why it was so low. Because I was very tentative on upgrading my gear. Until we get loadouts, it's hard for me to be, like, super gung-ho about taking things to a really high level. Because while they work great here, I need a set of gear that kind of works at the, you know, a second set of gear. And I'm not sure what that second set of gear should be. And I really wish we just had a loadout. I, I wish we had three loadouts. Okay. So that's better. Let's take a look at that. Fixing the helmet got it to 44%. That should be a decent boost. The armor is uh, not a decent boost. I probably could do the helmet one more time because, again, that's what my boots are at. But we're going to leave it like this. Let's look. Let's look. I've seen the chart says to take it up to 1,000. To me, 1,000 is really pushing it. I think... Actually, you know... Is... Would one... Well, uh, let's see. We get an extra... No, you know what? I'll leave it. We're gonna just leave it at this. It's fine. I can totally afford this, though. So that's okay. We got it up to 15. It was 12. We got this up to 14. Not a huge increase, but hey. It's an increase, actually, in offline CPS. Which can actually be useful, uh, believe it or not. Now, when we go officially for starting the ninja run, I was told I had the wrong sword and shield equipped. So what I was going to say is, how high should I upgrade this? This, she this is probably, I need to upgrade this. I'm going to assume we probably need to upgrade it to 15, then it matches my other sword. It's a Kishar with the CPS. And do I have it? I don't have a Kishar dagger. So I don't need to upgrade. I don't have anything else to upgrade. So the idea being we're going to use this. And we're going to use the coin bow shield. And both of those together for when we go for um, offline coin. But like I, but one of the things I said. Well let's just talk what a ninja one is. So the goal is you want to have a high base coin. Because the way ninja works is based on ninja's level. Why does it... Oh, it probably says it in here. Ninja. This menu will grant you 0.8% of your current Ascension Max Coin record per level. So the goal is we want to get a really high base Max Coin, and then we want to just send Ninja out. And basically, every time we send Ninja out, if he's level 10, he gives us 8% more. And so basically we get into like an exponential kind of growth thing. Where you can see, I did try and do it and I got up to 4.4 TV. So in this case, every day he's bringing me 8% of that, which is like 300.32. We'll just round, we'll round up. It'll be 0.4, we'll consider it 5 TV. Because he, he would bring me back um, basically 0.4 TV. And then, of course, once I get that 4 TV, now I have 5.4 TV, so he's going to bring me back even more the next day. That's just how compounding works. But for two reasons, I don't want to just start the ninja run with nothing. The first reason is, who knows what Pablo is going to give us. He could give us an upgrade off ninja that says, oh, when you do this and Ultra Ascend, now ninja returns twice as much. And it could cost, like, who knows how much it would cost. But that would dramatically shorten the ninja run. It would basically cut it in half. And that would basically sabotage me. 
So, for two reasons, I wanted to get up to at least two quintillion souls. We're at 800. We'll probably get the rest next week. So, we'll probably be starting this week, this run next week. Maybe the week after. We'll have to see. And then after we get that done. And, and of course, this should be a little bit faster because I did upgrade my helmet. Should have probably done that sooner, but it is what it is. And uh, the ninja is currently a... I think nine hour duration you can't see the total time with all the different reductions you can see this he's half he's basically half a cyclops i believe no cyclops is one hour 22 minutes so he's almost half a cyclops so he's around a little more than nine hours and with the daily boost like this you can get him about three times a day so that's kind of the goal with ninja is to get him three times a day and and that should also shorten the ninja run, because now you can claim him three times a day. I think it used to be 16-ish times, I don't remember, 14 or 16 times a week before, and now it's up to 21. I'm not really sure what it was before. He was about 13 hours before, so you could get him twice a day pretty much, so around 14, maybe 15. So we'll see again how good I am at claiming ninja. That's, you know, another thing. But that's the ninja run. And once we get 500 spear, I'll have all the achievements. And we'll just go back to just... If there's not an update by then, we'll just go back to piling up uh, Slayer points. Because you know, I know, everybody knows there's going to be an update at some point, And the more Slayer points we have in the bank, the better we are. But until then, we got to get our two quadrillion... Two quintillion. We already got two quadrillion. We wanna, I want to get about two quintillion. And also, that's going to make it so my initial starting coins is higher... Because, of course, the higher the, the soul reaper, no, not soul reaper, the higher the amount of uh, souls I have, the greater the, where is it, the greater the ascension CPS bonus is. So if we're at 1.41, uh, and we're probably going to add one, we're going to add 1.2 quadrillion to that, let's just say we double it, so that doubles this, and that makes me, you know, twice as much. Doubling is good, always good. So we'll get around that. I'm going to go ahead and use Rage Mode, so we're going to see what we get here, because we have to use it ten times. This is probably my least favorite daily quest. It is what it is. And we also have to kill 400 bats. Easy. Random boxes, easy. And, and temporary items, easy. I will not be using any items while we're here. Um, no, no Rage Pills or anything like that. So we'll just kind of chill for a minute. So that's kind of the plan. That's where we're headed. And, and again, like, the reason I want to have two quintillion in the bank is who knows what the update brings. And, of course, it will kind of help me get a little bit of a boost going forward. And uh, and also, I want, like, if we just went to the ninja run, upgrading my equipment at that point really isn't useful. We'll at least have an idea of how this equipment upgrade kind of performs next week. And then, you know, we're just going to be getting prepared for that run. So again, all this could go up in smoke too if Pablo changes the update, because that's what was happened last time. I was in the middle of a ninja run, and I, I forget what update it was. Oh, it was the update that dropped um, the two quint quintillion updates. And when the update dropped for the quintillion updates, I was like, oh, hmm. Well? Hold on, I have to focus. Um, I was like, well, the companion updates, let's go get those first, and we'll do the ninja run later. So like I said, Pablo surprised me before with the, and that was the Quimbo shield, which actually will help my ninja run. Uh, that was the update that dropped, um, whatever the wind dash buff is, like, I don't really wind dash at all. I know some people do, and, you know, congratulations to them. I don't really use the wind dash very much. We'll look at the upgrade. But basically that dropped, and I was like... Hmm. Do I get Edge Master and basically Ascend? What do I do? And at the time, this was with the pre-change inner power, so the consensus I decided was, all right, with old inner power, what we're going to do is basically we're going to do a... a uh, where we're going to get Nature Essence, which basically gives us 10% more. And then after we got Nature Essence, we were going to pick up... Um, the edge master and then I was gonna ultra ascend. And that's what we did. I also had to do that because 
if I didn't have some of the prerequisites, I had a bunch of the prerequisites for it uh, locked still. Like, um, uh, for some of my heads, I didn't have all the prerequisites yet because basically I had been going, like, straight for Edge Master. And then the update changed it to inner power work with stuff you purchased. And I was like, oh, okay, well, now let's go purchase everything. And then, and then I was like, you know, I also don't like this because it puts a lot of gamification around when you Ultra Ascend. And the decoupling of the way inner power is now with how powerful idol is sort of fixes that. Um, because now you just get all your souls from offline. But I do hope we get to expand the cap on inner power in the future. Um, I just think it's... I mean, it, honestly, it kind of doesn't really matter. Because by the time you spend one quadrillion... You're basically buying the offline soul buff, and then you're just totally offline, and then it's just inner power doesn't matter, and um, I have mixed feelings about that. It's both good and both bad. Like, I was really, I really enjoyed inner power. I wanted it to just work differently, but at the same time, I understand the change, so... I don't know, like I said, mixed feelings, I guess. I know a lot of people did not like my proposal for inner power, which is fair. I think it's fair criticism to not like it. But I also don't see the game heading in the direction that they... The other direction that it could have. So, I don't know, we'll see. I did make a suggestion for a two, quint uh, two quintillion or more upgrade. Honestly, I would be fine with it costing like five quintillion, to be very honest with you. Um, and that upgrade was to give the portal two charges. I thought that'd be super cool to have a two charge portal. Um, I don't, I, so like one of the things I was thinking is, well, could there be another upgrade to reduce the cooldown of the portal? I went back and forth on that. I thought it would actually be cooler to give the portal two charges. And again, the, the, the two charge portal would only work in very strict conditions. So two charge portal would work, um, well sorry, not strict conditions, but with, with a, it would be extremely expensive. A, being able to store two charges of portal is not something I would expect to be anything but the late, 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 late game. Which is why I was I, I threw out, I think, two um, quintillion. I would be actually okay if it was five quintillion. I think that probably would be the limit. I think ten might be okay, too, but then we're, like, really stretching it. Um... I would think, like, given the current state of the game, there's nothing that costs, you know, ten... Uh, ten uh, quintillion, so it's kind of like, wow, this is just really out of... It's really out of place with the rest of the upgrades in the game, which is why I think two, maybe two and a half would be more reasonable. So it's still a goal for you to achieve. It's not something, like, just given to you, but it's also not unreasonably more expensive than everything else out there. That was kind of the case when Edge Master came out, which was something I also really wanted. Um, but Edge Master was, like, so expensive when it came out compared to everything else. Like, we didn't have a lot leading up to Edge Master at the time. So, became, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it being a stretch goal. We had the old inner power at that time, so it worked great for people who wanted to keep it. Anyways, that's kind of where I was getting at. And, obviously, we'll see what the, you know, I honestly, let me check the server and let's see if there's any news on an update. Because I haven't seen anything. Obviously, we just had our attack on Titan, so I'm not anticipating anything, like, in the immediate future, right? For me, it's like, you know, just had the big update. Pablo did a lot of bug fixes during the update. He was bug fixing probably halfway through the update. So, at this point, it's probably, a, you know, a lot of, um... A lot of analysis, right? Like, where do I want the game to go? What is the next thing I can do? Are we going to have another collaboration? You know, again, I think another collaboration would be a little on the too soon side. The one thing I do hope is that he finds a way to give people achievements for how well they did in the ODM minigame. 
I hope that data is still saved in the game save file and that we can get a future update that that has not really an achievement as much as a feat of strength and feat of and a feat of strength would just be a, it'd be like an achievement but it doesn't account towards your achievement total it's totally like it's like a cosmetic achievement achievements as they are implemented currently are, are buffs and stuff like that because of, of the way for example the belt works increases your achievement cps per achievement and all that so anything with the odm or the the limited time event i don't feel like should be an achievement however it could be a feat of strength which is similar to an achievement but does not function as an achievement in and of itself what a feat of strength kind of is it's like an achievement that you can no longer get but because you can no longer get it it doesn't actually affect it doesn't actually impact the current gameplay it would sort of be like like the buffs on attack on titan all the buffs on during attack on titan were temporary and during the event only and if you didn't get them during the event that's fine the event's no longer there we're all back on the same playing field so something similar to that but i do think the players that got their diamond badges and their uh, platinum badges and even me with my i think i got gold silver i don't know i think i got silver i'm assuming it was bronze silver uh gold platinum but there was diamond i really don't know now now i don't know Regardless, everybody who got an achievement during the Odium, I would like them to still be able to see it. So one of the things I did mention was that adding something like a feat of strength, which is basically an achievement that you achieved that does not have any impact on the game. So the people that got a got to diamond, they would get, I, I, I assume four. I mean, I'm maybe it was uh, bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. They would get uh, an achievement for each one of those. For me, that only got the silver, I would get the bronze and the silver. And if somebody got the gold, they would get gold, bronze, silver. So a very nice way of just preserving your achievements at, and progress that happened in the game. I honestly would like to see the ODM minigame come back in some some kind of... Um, actually, you know which minigame I'd really want to get see come back? The one where you punch the giants in the head. I love that. I, I just love the whole concept of that. You punch the giant in the head, he goes down, and then you gotta punch some other giants in the head. It wasn't too hard. I had so much fun with that. That was my favorite minigame. Or honestly, something like another chest hunt. So a game that's more luck-based than skill-based to kind of balance it out. Right now we have two skill-based minigames, which is the bonus stage, which, you know, pretty easy for most people by now. Um, but we also have the... Uh, the uh, climbing event. So I feel like we need something sort of like a chest hunt to kind of balance it out. Don't know what the rewards could be. Let's see. We already got boots. We got a helmet. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I'm focusing on doing the bonus stage, but I'm also trying to formulate an idea. So let me just finish the bonus stage, and then I will verbalize the idea I am formulating inside my head. Because I have an idea I just came up with. I don't know if the, the people would like this, uh, but I'm going to pitch it anyways. Worst case is you guys have the comment section. You can say, Zerden, are you on drugs? And I will say yes. I am on all the performing enhancing drugs. How do you think I bring you a video every week? I have to be on every drug known to man. But um, more realistically, it could suck. It could not fit uh, the Idol Slayer community, which is also possible. Uh, I might, it might be a, just a dumb idea. I don't think it's like a totally dumb idea. Um, but it just might not be something. But I do think we need to have a, a mini game that is not so skill heavy. So I'm gonna propose my idea. 
and you can criticize me in the comments because that's what the comments section is for. So let me finish up the bonus stage because I need to see what, what we what we're working on. Ooh, I like this. I like this idea I have in my head. But again, I don't know if it'll fit Idol Slayer or not. But it is a classic kind of bonus game, so maybe it does. And it's kind of skill-based, but it's not, um... It's not like a punishing skill base. So let's see. First, I want to see what kind of reward we could get. Hey, okay, so we're up to the staff. Maybe it rewards a staff, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sold on that rewarding a staff so much. Here's my idea of a minigame, and now you're going to be like, Wow, Zerd, and that minigame sucks. But anyways, so we have a bestiary. We have all these monsters in it. What I was thinking was a match-to-style minigame. So basically... A bunch of cards face down, you turn a card over, you try to match it to another card. Um, so it's a little bit skill-based and a little bit luck-based, not too overwhelming in either. Um, each card you match, you would win like a certain multiplier of the amount of souls versus that monster. So let's say you match two slimes, and they're, they're two like red slimes. Then you would get a multiplier of maybe the equivalent of killing a thousand red slimes, and you would get awarded that many souls. So that way it would scale reasonably, and so it wouldn't be like something you only have in the early game. Maybe a thousand is too many, maybe it's too few, I don't really know, that's kind of a balance question. But the idea is that it should scale in a way as you play the game, so it's not like... So it doesn't go obsolete, okay? And, and, of course, you could get giants, too. So you could have... And maybe there's multipliers, too. Like, you could get a 10, and, and you have to find the 10 multiplier. And then it's 10,000 slimes or whatever. I think that's reasonable. And, of course, you have the entire bestiary to pull from. And you could get a mimic. And if you pull a mimic card... Um, see, I'm, I'm kind of mixed on the mimic, so I'll throw it out there. I think a mimic card just ends the game. So there's a set of cards on there that are Mimic cards. But I want to say instead of the chest hunt where there's four, maybe there's only like one. So there's one maybe potential instant game over card. Or maybe if you have like a certain number of tries, like let's say you have three tries before you, you, you bust out, right? That you would have, you know, the chance of... The Mimic basically just eats one of your vibes, basically. So it's like if you hit the Mimic on the first try, or actually, maybe you only have one life, and you have to craft something to get an extra try. And maybe you craft another thing, kind of like the saver, and you get two extra tries. So you could probably put maybe three mimics in there. I don't know. I don't want to make it too mimic heavy, but... I like the idea of the mimic being in there, but maybe it's just you have the mimic, and you have a chance to match it or something. Regardless, I kind of like the mimic idea... Uh, I kind of like the Mimic as a monster. But regardless, you can find multipliers, you can find monsters, you can find giants. And, you know, whenever you match two of them, you get like a thousand-ish kills. Do these kills count for the best theory? I don't know. I would be okay with them counting for the best theory. I would be okay with them not counting for the best theory. That'd be kind of open to interpretation. I would like them counting for the best gear in the sense that it would help people catch up, but the reality is with a good offline build, you don't you can complete the best gear in 15 hours anyways. So it's kind of like, you know, one or the other. Like it, it's not that hard to get the best gear complete, so it doesn't matter if it does. But since it's not hard to get the best gear complete, it could be a cool thing for new players to kind of like get a big bonus on their best gear. Maybe it doesn't count like one for one, maybe it's like one tenth or something like that. I don't know. But that's sort of my idea, like a match three game. And again, don't know if Mimic should be an instant loss or not. But just something that's not like so Twitch focused. So somebody on the on a mobile device, like they don't get have to get sweaty palms while playing this game. It's more, more like a chess time. So they can kind of play it, they can take their time. There is a mental challenge to the game more than a reflex challenge. 
it's a easy to pick up game everybody knows how match two works like i'm sure everybody has probably in the world played it there's and it's and i think we have enough unique monsters that like it'd actually be kind of cool in my opinion like you could go through this entire bestiary and it's like oh i match this the red you know and it could be any of these you can match a black you get all three demons in one, and each one is a different amount of souls. So this one's 7, 16, and 78. So you have, like, a, to me, a lot of options. And honestly, you could upgrade the game even. Maybe they award material. You know, at, at, at maybe a different drop chance. So kind of a cool mini game that you'd be encouraged to play. Now, now one twist I wanted to add to the mini game was you could upgrade it. So that you can get, like, if it doesn't drop a staff, because I really don't know that I would want it to add a new item into the game. I think it would be better that this mini game has the chance to drop any item. So it could drop a sword, it could drop a bow, it could drop a helmet, it could drop a shield, it could drop armor, it could drop anything in here. A ring? Have to think about ring. Probably not a ring. A dagger and a and a axe so everything but ring I don't, I don't i'm not sold on the ring so sword shield armor helmet boots dagger axe and bow so all those items and it would be the same thing you'd roll over it'd be an adronus bow you would then have to find the adronus bow and if you matched them both you got an adronus bow it would have the same chance to be excellent the same chance. so like there's a wide variety of drop pool that it could be so that way every game's kind of exciting right and obviously maybe there's some there's a lot of enhancements you could do to the game maybe they're divinity enhancements that just make the game better maybe they're um soul upgrades that make like the chest hunt upgrades that make the game more lucrative you have a you have a lot you could do with it for a simple match two game in terms of um idol slayer I would even say at some point, you, you like one of the upgrades should be maybe it starts with just like, let's say it starts with 20 cards. So that's 10 matches for like new players, right? Then maybe you upgrade it. So it's it's um 30 cards and then 40 cards. And maybe one of the upgrades is it automatically makes a pair for you. So unlike the saver, which gives you basically a chance to hit a mimic, this gives you an auto match and it rolls through all the cards and whatever card it lands on it automatically matches that card and you get the reward so like i said there's a so that way you always get you're guaranteed something basically so like i said there's a lot of in my opinion potential for making a match two game fun in the in idol slayer and you could add some fun animations like like you should you could have some first time animations where like all the slimes fall down and your idol slayer like goes nuts like if you have rage unlock maybe they do rage mode or something and obviously you'd have to have a checkbox to like skip the animation because like it's fun the first time maybe the first five times but the one thousandth time of doing the the match two mini game it would not be a lot of fun um but one of the reasons I'm suggesting a game like this is because it's both very accessible to mobile and PC players. Like, anybody should be able to match two cards. Um, so there's that, too. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just throwing something out there. Like, something I think would be fun, fits the game, uses the artwork of the game, and could have some fun animations. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like, I don't know. I just was thinking you know i just thinking ideas for the game if, if you think it's too simple we could always make it like a match three but then that gets kind of complicated right because then you have to have a minimum of 21 cards and that would be for seven match threes and then you would have to match all three that's uh, i don't know i think that's a little much it's a little much without seeing them and i, I don't want to really add like bejeweled into the game that's kind of been at least that's kind of too much like i don't want to play and I also like i feel like a match two game should be pretty quick Going through 40 matches, I think, would be pretty quick. 40 might... I mean, it's 40, excuse me. 20 matches, 40 cards. Because, like, if you could do a match every five seconds... Five seconds. That would be 100 seconds, which is about two minutes for a bonus stage. I feel, like, pretty good. 
So I don't know. Like I said, let me and and, and of course you can have duplicates too. Like and, and what I mean by duplicates is, let's say it rolls um, slime, right? It rolls blue slime. It should be able to roll blue slimes again. So you could get two matches in a game of blue slime. I think that'd be cool too. Because then it just makes it a little, little easier for, you know, sometimes you just get ridiculously lucky. And, of course, when you bust out, just like how um, Chest Hunt shows you all the chests, this would show you where all the cards were. So if you, like, made an obvious mistake, you'd be like, yeah, oh. oh, that's where that card was. Yeah, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. That's, that's, that's going to be my pitch. The match two card game in Idol Slayer, and the, it, it's a meta game that basically has all the items in it, except for the ring. All the other items. And it doesn't introduce a new item. So it's kind of like a catch up for everybody. But it's random enough where it's not like you can sit there and farm the match two game to get like a helmet or something. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That is my proposal. I think it'd be... I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it would be fast enough where it wouldn't feel super tedious. And I feel like a, an important part of it is, is it is ac accessible to both mobile and PC players so that everybody's on kind of an even playing field. Because like a chest hunt, there's I don't have an advantage in the chest hunt. Anybody can click a box. But regardless, once again, as always... Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.